Hey everybody, it's Sarah with athriftymom.com and today we're going to do a fun kid craft. Um, I got my son here with me. Just pulled him away from Minecraft. He had his little bit of uh, TV time and now we've got to do a craft project, much to his dismay. <laughs> but um, hopefully you guys will join us and have fun if you know anybody that wants to have a fun low cost craft idea. These are ladybugs that we put in the trees. Uh, at springtime we have a pretty bush out front and the kids like to make these every spring and we hide them in the bush and it's just kind of a fun way to decorate our um, for the kids to do a fun project. So we'll go ahead and get started. If you want to do this project with us later, um, I'm going to go ahead and add a at work again, Kay says. Well, Kay, I'm glad you joined us at work. <laughs> maybe we'll motivate you to be super productive, right? What do you do? Maybe maybe we can um, inspire you. Maybe you're a school teacher or something and then see, hey, you're, you're learning. But, okay, so to make this project, mm -hmm. what you need is you just need a egg carton. A paper one or a styrofoam one will work just fine. You need some... Googly eyes. Yep, we need some black paint and some red paint. We need two paint brushes, or you can use one and wash it out in between. But since we're going to be doing a couple of them, we're just going to go ahead and have... Emily says, hey, Monique, Monique, Monique says, adorable. Kay says, doubt I'm in, in, I'm in a receptionist at a car dealership. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. You have to remind me. Okay, Brandy says, awesome ladybugs. Okay, I actually used to be, that was my very first job ever. Well, my very, very first job ever. I worked three days at a realtor's office, but they actually, this was 20 years ago. Um, well, 15, almost 20 years ago. And they smoked inside the building really bad. And I didn't realize at the time that I had asthma. And so I, by the third day, I could no longer talk, so I had to quit. Um, anyway, and then shortly after that, I got a job at a car dealership. And at, I worked there as a night receptionist and a file clerk, and then um, it ended up in accounts receivables, and that's actually where I met my husband at the time, too. He was a car salesman. So we love the car dealership people. Okay, so back to what I was saying. We need an egg carton. We need some red and black paint. We need some paint brushes. We need some glue, hot glue or glue stick works just fine. What are these, Maverick? Googly eyes. Destiny says, I love watching your stuff. I'm a stay-at-home mom, and I'm going to make these with my girls. Awesome! Destiny, we would love you to always watch our stuff, and please share it so your friends can see it, too. When you guys like, share, and comment, it helps tell Facebook that you like seeing what we do, and it helps us be able to get a better reach, so it makes, um, it, makes it worth doing these shares. Okay, so we got googly eyes, right? You got a googly eye? <laughs> Here, let's show everybody really quick. Okay, let's see. <laughs> you got some googly eyes? <laughs> You're so funny. Okay, let's put you back up here. Sorry, everybody, if I made you all sick, but he was cracking me up with his googly eyes. Okay, Kay says, ah, oh, they don't do that here, thank goodness. I think she was talking about me when I used to have to work with the people that smoked. Um, Emily says, I'm going to make these with my kiddos. And Deanna says, my husband Chris loves your stuff. Awesome. Well, De Dina, I am glad your husband is likes my stuff. Okay, so back. And then we need some pipe cleaners. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to get started. So, to, Oh, and some scissors. Destiny says, well, it won't let me watch if I left and came back and still will not work. Hmm. If I left and come back, it will still not let me work. Well, you can always share it afterwards. We would love that, too. Okay, so... Mama, when you want to make wings. You want to make wings? Well, see, we kind of made it look like there's wings on here. See? You put the black line down, and then it looks like that these are the wings. But if you want, we can try to cut out some different wings and make them different. Okay. Kay says, sometimes it freezes. Mine is fr frozen now. Yeah, Facebook is kind of glitchy. You just kind of have to wait a little bit and hopefully it unfreezes. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to take a pair of scissors and we're going to cut apart the little different egg cartons. And the great thing about this project is it doesn't really cost much and so it's fun for the kids to make and then like in two weeks you don't feel bad throwing it away. <laughs> when they put all this effort into a project and then they want to hang it on the wall for three years. Um, the clutter drives me nuts. 
So that's why we just like to make lots of different projects, hang them, enjoy them for a while, and then we can get rid of them and we don't feel bad. Okay, so now I'm taking the scissors and I'm just kind of going around. What? I can't understand you. I'm going to let me do something. Yep, I'm going to let you do something here in just a second. Okay, so now my son gets to... We put down a little paper towel here. We do have a tablecloth down, but I'll try to keep that a little bit clean. Okay, so now Maverick, hey, get you get to paint the whole thing red, okay? Wait, not the dots? Uh, you, well, you got to do the dots last. So here, go ahead and let's wait, get wait, you a little bit more paint. Wait, wait the black is going to go on top of the red? Yep, the black will go on top of the red. So this is a great project for kids, uh, probably preschool to even my eight-year-old made them last time and she thought that they were fun. Christy says, works for me. All right, Heather says, hey girl, thanks for hopping in on guys and thanks for commenting. What did I do with my scissors? Do you see where I put them? Does anybody see them? They're not in the frame. I feel like I'm going crazy here. Oh, here they are, over here. Okay, <laughs> so I'll just show you guys again as he paints that. We're gonna go around and we're just kinda gonna go around. Hi, painting I was very quick you were very quick at painting mm -hmm. you're a very good painter huh painting is a really good fine motor skill for kids to learn it's good for them to learn creativity but it's also I'm making crabs at school. you're making crabs mm -hmm. yeah because we're learning about the ocean mm -hmm. did you know what your ocean project is that you got assigned do you know what animal you got assigned to Octopus. Octopus, right. So we have to do a project in octopus here in a little bit. We all? Uh-huh. Yay. Yep, and we'll probably end up on here showing somebody how to do an oct octopus project, huh? Mm hmm Okay, so as he's painting, I'm just going to go... Kathy says, where where were you this morning when I was looking for, for the bug crafts for Girl Scouts? Oh, man! Well, maybe you can do it next week, Kathy. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do... Is it okay if I get paint on me? Yep. And we'll just wash it off. Just don't get it on your clothes, okay? I won't. Alright. So those are the different shapes for the ladybug. Oops, and I forgot to poke the holes, but that's okay. We can do it after. And then you need something pokey. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and use a skewer. And we're just going to poke a hole. And this will be for us to put our antennas through, which are our pipe, pipe, pipe cleaners. Okay, look how good you got that painted, buddy. I'm going to do another. Yep, go ahead and paint this one Yay! now. Yay! And the painting. Yep. Okay, so I'm just going to poke these holes for the antennas. Anita says, Stephanie, oh, she's tagging somebody. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you for tagging I'm somebody that you would in th let watch you. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, and then I'm going to take this one. I'm going to poke some holes in it. So, Kathy, tell me what you decided to do with your Girl Scouts instead. Did you come up with something fun and creative? I was never in Girl Scouts, but I was in Whoa, Bluebirds when I was stuck. a little girl. Yep. <laughs> don't Just don't wipe it on your clothes. I should have had to change your clothes before we started, huh? Okay, there you go. Do you need a little bit more red? Yeah. Okay. You know what? We could also make a caterpillar. Do you want to make a caterpillar? Sure. Debbie is tagging Lexi. Thank you, Debbie. Okay, so we're decided spur of the moment. What color is it? Going? Well, what color do you think we should make a caterpillar? Green. Green? Okay. Let me go get some green. No, um. Okay, yeah. Yeah, is green okay? Mm hmm Okay, so I just cut a section of that off. I'm just going to round the edges. Okay. All right, I'm going to go grab, um, Brandy just tagged Maria. Thanks, Mar Brandy. And Nancy says, my son Alex, five years old, is watching me and says, hi. Maverick, can you tell Alex hi? Hi. <laughs> Say hi, Alex. Thanks for watching us craft. Yep, we're having fun. Okay. Alex, if you were going to paint a caterpillar, what color would you paint it? 
We'll wait for you to decide, and we'll do two caterpillars, and my son's going to paint his his color, and then Alex, I'm going to paint... I'm going to paint one for you, Alex. I'm green and, um, and aqua. And aqua. Green and aqua. Okay. Is aqua kind of like a bluish green? Is that what color? Blue, yeah. Bluish whitish. Bluish whitish. Okay. Well, I'll go get those colors. Okay. Oh, here's one more. We got one more ladybug to oh, do. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is taking forever. I know, but it's good for your fine motor skills. So that I don't have motor skills. You don't have motor skills? <laughs> what does that mean? You don't know what those are? I don't know that what it means. Fine motor skills is what uh, helps you write nice letters. Blue! Okay, Nancy. Alex, we'll I'll go grab some blue. What did I drop on the floor? Okay. I don't have blue. Okay, I know, you gotta do yours green. I'll be right back. Hang and, on just a second. And aqua. And aqua. Okay, Alex, does this work for you? This is the blue we have, and then Maverick wants to do his green and aqua. aqua. Is that okay for you, Maverick? Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds good. Okay, we're just waiting for Maverick to finish painting his ladybugs. Okay, are you having fun, buddy? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, so then I'm going to show them how we're going to start doing the faces, okay? Alex, what's your favorite animal? These are insects that we're painting, but what's your favorite animal? <laughs> Alex says, yes, that blue works good for him. Good. Alex, tell me what your favorite animal is. Maverick, what's your favorite animal? Cheetah. A cheetah? Mm -hmm. Whew, have you ever seen a cheetah in real life? No. No? Okay, so why don't you take your brush and you go wash that out and you go wash your hands real quick. Just okay. go do it in the bathroom, okay? Don't stop! I won't start. I'll, I'll wait for you. Okay, so we have these here. We're just going to let them dry just a little bit and he's going to go wash his hands. All right, Why, where's everybody from? Where are you guys watching from? Do we have anybody from outside of the United States? Bunnies and puppy, Alex says. Those are his favorite. Oh, you like cute, cuddly things. My, my son loves cheetahs. Those don't sound very cute and cuddly to me, huh? <laughs> oh, my cat's meowing over there. Anybody hear our cat? Meow! She sees these moths outside the window. Okay. We're just waiting for him to come back, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to start the black. Michigan here, Ashley says, hello! Hopefully, is it nice and, and uh, spring weather in Michigan yet, or is it uh, cold? Here where we live, it's pretty chilly in the morning still. It's about down to the 50s and 60s in the mornings, but then by the midday, it's up into the 70s, which is really nice. We've had uh, quite a bit of snow this winter, so I was looking forward to spring. We mowed our lawn for the first time yesterday. You're back? Okay, come on back. All right, let's see how we did washing out his brush. Pretty I'm good. I'm going to use the next color. Okay, so now what we're going to do, here, get your... Mommy, but what if I need to use both of the colors? Well, it's okay. Okay, so here, we'll put the black, and I'm going to show you. You see where the two eyeballs are right here? Okay, so now we're going to draw, you tell me what this shape is. Um, a circle. A circle, right. So why do you think we drew a circle? Mm -mm. Ashley says, it's cold and rainy and we're calling for more snow this week. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, by the time April's here, I am totally ready for um, winter to be done. Uh, Nancy's from Texas. Howdy. <laughs> okay, so do you see how I made that circle right there? I did, I did. Okay, so now you, in between those two holes, which are for our antennas, you get to make... Here, do it so everybody can see what you're doing down here. Don't put it on your school shirt. 
Uh, Jessica says, we just had two days of 17 degree weather this morning here in PA. Woo! Yeah, my little sister lives up in the northern part of, well, yeah. northeastern part of, um, no, northwestern part of Idaho. And when she came to visit me last week, when she left, left she Mom, still had uh, snow all over. She gets snow drifts that are up like the same size as her house, so she was looking forward to coming and getting a little bit of sunshine. Okay, do you think you can do that again? No. Do you think you can make another circle right here? No. Yeah, you can, right here. Okay, I'll put the dot, and then you do a bigger circle right there around it. Nope, you got to do it up here. It's kind of old. You're doing a good job. Okay. All right, let's show everybody our circle heads. Okay, everybody see those? Okay, so now we're going to take... Uh-oh, you got red all down it. Yeah, let me clean it out. Okay, so now we are going to make the line for our ladybug, okay? So we're just going to do a line straight back. Do I have to do it? Mm-hmm. No, oh, man. You'll like it once it's done. Okay, and then we're going to do, you tell me what shape this is in the back, okay? What shape is that in the back that we just did? Mm. It's got three sides. A triangle. A triangle, right. Okay, so do you think you can do that? We're going to do a line and then a triangle. Okay. I'm will the styrofoam okay. cartons work too? Yes, they will. The paint just gets a little bit more slippery on the styrofoam ones, but it still works just as well. Nancy. Oh, that was all done. Okay, so what do we do? We do a line mm -hmm. down the back, huh? Mm -hmm. Good job. Line down the back, and then we turn it into a triangle, right? Mm -hmm. Looks like you might need a little bit more paint on your brush. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Yep, you did a great job. Look what a good job he did. Okay, so then a triangle. Okay. Now can we do the caterpillar? Yeah, you want to start painting your caterpillar? You're done with the ladybugs? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, here, let's put, let's let have you do I'll your... I'll do aqua first. Okay, here, can you put dots on your ladybug first, mm -hmm. and then I'll finish this one up for you? You got to do it here so people can see what you're doing, right here. Okay, good job. It's going to get a little bit more black out. And if you don't have um, egg cartons, you could do these with like the little condiment cups, um, kind of like that you'd put like ketchup or fry sauce in, um, the little plasticky ones. Those are s small too. So that, that would be a good Can I option. Can I put Yep. Okay. Okay, so for your kids to do this, they just need to do a circle for the head, a line down the back, and then a triangle up front. And then, to make it the wings, that we're just gonna dot. Um, we're just gonna dot it like that. And we're gonna Open set those aside. Aqua. Okay, here. Can you go wash your brush out? Mm -hmm. Both. Uh, are they both dirty? Nope, just that one. Go wash it out. Okay. Don't stop. So he and wants to make some while Don't we're letting. Stop. I won't start. <laughs> while we're letting these dry, we're gonna start. Um, Genevieve says, Alice and Moore Mathis, we should make these. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you for tagging your friends, and yes, you should. It's a fun project for the kids to do and perfect for springtime when we're talking about bugs and other fun stuff. Okay, so we're letting our um, ladybugs dry here. And if you're just joining us, basically what you do is you paint it red, and then you make three basic shapes. You do a circle for the face. You do a line down the middle, and then you have the kids do a triangle in back. So it's great for fine motor skills, and it's also great for helping them learn their shapes. Hey, okay, you're back. All right, so he wants to make a ah. an aqua. Um, okay, so there's some blue. It's aqua. Aqua, and you want a green too, All right? Our paint's got a booger in it. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> you got a lot there. Okay, so don't, don't don't try not to smoosh them together. And then at the end, if you want, you can smoosh them together. Um, because Alex 
was that his name? I think so. Alex, he wanted me to paint it blue. One of them? Yep. So you start on this one, and I'll start on this one. Oh, Mommy, I might need more aqua color. Yep. Well, let's see how far it goes. And we're going to start painting our caterpillars. Okay, is every, anybody out on spring break right now? We had our spring break two weeks ago. And our spring break, it rained the whole time the kids were out pretty much. We had like one day of sunshine. Other than that, it was all cold and kind of miserable. So we didn't do much outside. Um, I put the eyes on. Yep, here, can you scoot over just a tiny bit so you're actually in the screen while you're painting? Mm -hmm. Do it right here. Okay. okay. Woo! You bonked the camera, sweetheart. Okay. Sorry, everybody. We actually ordered one of those like uh, things that holds your iPad, but till that comes, we just oh, have our yeah. We just have our suspended from a, a wire on the ceiling. Alex, are you still watching? Do you like this blue? Do you think I should do the next one, the aquamarine color? I am. I know you are. I thought you were going to do green and... I know. Okay, so I think I'm going to take some of your aquamarine. I'm going to do this next one, this color. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Then, Mommy, now it's blue and there. It's okay. I think my comments may have froze. Matt, can you check to see if the comments have froze? Just the wonderful glitches of Facebook and going live. Can anybody let me know if the comments have froze? Can you guys, is Mommy, our, can, I keep can someone uh, give me a shout out? Mommy, can I keep these? Yeah, you can keep it. Yay. Okay, so we got some more blue there. Aqua. Aqua. Excuse me. Is there like a superhero that's called Aqua or something? Why do you... Challenger Aqua Ranger. Oh, Kathy says, still here. Okay, thanks, Kathy. Nancy says, yes, and Sister Hannah, too, six years old. Okay, great. Good, looks like our comments are still working. Okay, so here we're painting it. Okay, um... Hannah, do you and Matt, uh, Al, was it Max or Alex? Alex, I think. Um, do you think I should do the next one, the dark blue, or do you think I should do the next one, the green? You tell me what I should do. Mm. We'll go ahead and wait. I know there's like a 60 second delay in between conversations, so we'll see what he thinks we should do next. Waiting for the school to get out and then going home to prep for the scouts tonight, Kathy says. Awesome. This would be a fun scout project, too. Do you do Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts, Kathy? Green. Okay. We're going to do green, then. Oh, wait. That was Nancy. I, we're, we're waiting for Hannah to answer. Hannah's six. Are you going to do green on yours? Marcy wants some green. Do you want to put some green on yours? Mine? Yeah. Hmm. No. No. <laughs> He wants to do it just the way he wants to do it. Okay, well, I, I haven't heard back from Hannah yet. We have a little bit of a delay. Girl Skate Scouts and Brownies, awesome. That is, I always kind of wanted to be in Girl Scouts or Brownies when I was little. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do green on this one. Got some spots on this one. Yep, you are doing a good job. So, my teachers that my kids have this year right now, they do a lot of art projects um, in my mm, son's I kindergarten like, class. I like this one. But, in the past, some of my other kids' teachers haven't done much projects. Can I put my eyes on now? One, uh, as soon as it dries, one, there's not a whole lot of funding, and two, there's always not a whole lot of time. Mommy, so, that's why it's important can to... Can you give me the next one? Um, I need... You, know, you want to do that one, too? All right, he's going on to caterpillar number three. But mommy, I need a different paintbrush. Okay, we'll just go wash it out. 
All right. So anyway, as I was saying, if you can just have some low-cost crafts to do. Sometimes the teachers are looking for art moms to come in and help. And if they're not, then it's just a, a lot of times it's just a great way to go ahead and reinforce and build those like fine motor skills and um, just creativity at home. And so that's why we try to do these projects at home as well. Okay, so now we're going to do the blue and my caterpillar. Maverick decided to do his caterpillar all one color. But this caterpillar, we're going to have nice and colorful. Woo, sorry guys. We're touching the thing here. It gets a little wobbly. Here. Those guys brownies, do you see those at the bottom? Yep. Kathy, how long have you been teaching Girl Scouts? It seems like a lot of Girl Scout leaders end up in it for years and years and years. Mommy, I accidentally got a little bit of paint on me. It's alright, we'll wash it out. Okay, hey, so before, wait, okay, never mind, he's going to go for it. Okay, so there's my caterpillar. Look how fun that is. Okay. Next time I'm going to do some of these aqua. Okay, here, oh, so you, do you want to... Hey, Max, would you come wash my brush out for me, please? Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to finish off these caterpillars for those, I mean, not caterpillars, the ladybugs, for those of you who are waiting for the how to see how to finish the ladybugs. Um, let me just wash that out and then bring it back. So what we need to do to finish the ladybugs is we're going to get a pipe cleaner. You can find these at Walmart in the craft section. These ones I got at the dollar store at Dollar Tree. Um, or you can find them at Hobby Lobby or someplace like that. So we're just going to fold it in half. And then we're just going to use our scissors to snip it. Snip Throw it your good now. craft scissors. Don't do that because it will me mess them up. Okay, so now we have two ends. And we're going to flip this over. And we're going to look for the holes that we poked earlier with our skewer. And we're just going to push it through. Okay. And then we're going to push it through. And then we're going to pull it through like that. Whoa. Okay. And then at this point, you can let your kids, you can give them, um, how about Hannah? And if you're still on, why don't you tell Mom, me what you Dad want these uh, antennas pieces. to look like? Mom, Dad bought a whole bunch of paint yeah. brushes. Or if we'll have Hannah answer the next one if she's still on. Maverick, do you want these wavy or circly or straight? Wavy. Wavy. Okay, so he wants them wavy. So we're going to make them wavy crazy. Okay. We're just going to do a zigzag, zigzag pattern back and forth. Wavy crazy. Okay. So there is our... And then, what size eyeballs do you want to put on here, Maverick? Big eyeballs. Big ones? You're going to make them look crazy. <laughs> okay. I don't know if the big ones it'll look like Bugsy off of... Uh... <laughs> Zigzag. Okay, we'll do zigzag on the next one. Thanks, Nancy. Okay, so we're going to do big eyeballs like on that, is it Bedtime Stories that Adam Sandler's on? Yeah. That has the Bugsies. My kids love that show. Yeah. It's one of our favorites. So, okay, so I just put a little daub of, um, I just scraped it off with the eyeball, and then we're going to just stick it on there like that. Like I said, okay, so here's the glue. We're just going to use this to scrape some off. Mom, is it okay if I use a wet, wet paint? And then... Mom, is it okay if I use some wet paint? Yeah, you can do it however you want it. Okay, so there's the eyeballs. Tara says, do coily on one. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Okay, so there's our little ladybug. Isn't he cute? <laughs> Bugsy! Bugsy ladybug. Okay, we'll put him over there with his friends. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to do the next one. All right, so we have our half a thing of um, pipe cleaner. We're going to poke it through our holes. There's one hole. And then... Let me get it up 
here close so I can see. I'm getting eye old. My eyeballs don't work like they should. Throw it through the other one. And Tara says, thanks, Nancy. Nancy says, cute. Tara says, do a coily one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the end of the paintbrush, and we are just going to wrap it around the end of the paintbrush. Mom, this one got two colors. There we go. Look how cute that is. <laughs> Good idea, Tara. I love that idea. I wouldn't have thought of that myself, but I like how it turned out. What do you guys, do you guys like the zigzag or the coily look better? I love the big eyeballs. So do I, Tara. I think they're really cute. Is it Tara or Tara? Oh, it's Tara. It's Gracie. Is that a picture of Gracie and Harper? I think it is. Let me see. Well, I don't know. I can't, um, maybe, maybe it is my cousin, which if it is, I know her name's Tara, not Tara, but, um, but most everybody else that I see, it's Mommy, Tara, and so... Aqua color. I have a feeling that it's maybe my cousin. Mommy, I need more aqua. You need more aqua. What, Matt? No, it's not. Oh, it's not. Okay. Well, you just have the exact same name as my cousin. Okay. So it could be Tara then. I mean, or Tara. Mommy. What, sweetheart? Um, can I need more aqua. You need more aqua? Okay. Let's get you some more aqua. Since it's mixing with the green. It's mixing with the green. Okay, let's put it up here. Yeah. Okay, we need to vote for what size eyeballs. Should we do another big eyeball or should we do... I don't small. You want to do small? Okay. If it's a small eyeball, then it'll be baby Bugsy. Oh, it's a baby Bugsy? Mm-hmm. Okay. So once again, we're going to take a little bit of um, glue and we're going to stick it on there. And just get a little bit more glue. We're going to stick it on there. Don't have this. Yeah. You could also do this with hot glue. Um, and they'd probably stick on um, a little bit better, just long term. But I always worry about my kids uh, hurting themselves with the hot glue, so that's why the glue stick works just as well. Okay, so we're going to put that one down there because okay, so we're going to do our last try. one. And let's get some more antennas out. Okay, so how we did that is we folded the long pipe cleaner in half, and then we snipped it in half, and then we flipped it over, and we poke it through where we poke the holes through with our skewer. Okay, how should we do these ones? Someone give me a uh, recommendation. Should we do them uh, coiled up, curly? Should we do them zigzag? Should we do a big loop-de-loop? -loop? Should we leave them straight? Someone tell me what they want me to do. Maverick, what Medium. Do you medium? I want to use three-year-old. Oh, you want me to do uh, medium eyeballs this time? Yes, yeah, so he's three. So he's three? Mm -hmm. Almost ready for kindergarten, huh? Okay, somebody tell me how we want the uh, things done on this one. Meanwhile, I'm scooping up some of the glue onto Let's the back the of the eyeball. Mommy, I got some paint on the table. That's okay. That's why we have a tablecloth down. And then we're going to scoop up some more glue onto the back of our eyeball. Hey, Matt, can you look to see if the comments are froze? Let's get the aqua brush. I get a drink of water here real quick. Here, show everybody what you're doing. That looks really good, buddy. Put it right here in the middle so everybody can see. All can the I way in. Can I my eyes on? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, this one, since it's most, since it's, Mostly the fun ones Okay. Can I make my eyes on this one? Yep. Can okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to make these ones into a big circle. That's kind of a f another fun way to do it. Mommy, and how um, we do that is we're just going to um, twist it around and eyes? twist. Where's See? The, the yeah, but just wait a second, buddy. They won't stick because your thing's still wet, okay? Okay, so then we're going to put that around one. again. Mommy, this and one. we're going to twist. Mommy, th this one's not... This one's not... 
Loop-de-loops. Okay, there's your loop-de-loops. Mommy, this one... Yeah, my comments are froze. Mommy, this one, um, this one's dry. This one yep, it's just froze. Tail. Okay, but it's still wet, so if you put it on when the paint's wet, it won't stick, sweetheart. Okay, so let's have a vote. Who likes the big eyeballs and who likes the little eyeballs? And the medium. <laughs> I think the big eyeballs are adorable. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so once again, it's an egg carton. You cut it off, cut the bottom off. You make a circle for the head. Right here, here's our circle. You would do a line down the back, and then for the back, you do a triangle. So three basic shapes that are perfect for okay, kindergartners and preschoolers. Okay, well, well, as we're waiting for our caterpillars to dry, I'm going to remind you guys that this Friday... At 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, we're going to do a Mommy and Me paint night. And we're going to show you guys how to do an abstract painting. Um, this one is... Why do you keep on doing them? Because we're making sure people know to come um, paint with us on Friday night. And all you need for this is you need a canvas. If you don't have a canvas, you can just do it on the back of a cereal box. Just cut the front of your cereal box off. And then we can just paint on your cereal box. We need black paint, gray paint, white, white paint, and then one other color of paint. Oh, so you wow. could just use this color, and then we use the black, the white, and the gray to get the different tones of the color that we need. Um, when I'm done with the video, I can actually give you guys a link to the page that tells you everything you need for the page, I mean to do this project. And here, go ahead and go wash that out so we don't ruin our brushes, okay? Go wash those three wow. out. Yeah. Hannah says the little ones and Destiny says the big ones so it looks like we have a mixed reviews on if you like the big eyeballs or the little eyeballs so anyway mark your calendars and if you want to come do the mommy and me paint night it's totally free all you got to do is hop on and join us live if you want to get the live um, if you want to get the live um, it will ding your computer or your phone to let you know we're live just hit the subscribe button um, it should be up in the right corner up here if you kind of hover over it or push it um, and then you could subscribe and let us know or you can just like our page and then come see us at six o'clock mountain center time on friday and you can do it do this paint uh... mommy and me paint live with us live okay so as my son's washing those out we're going to turn these into caterpillars and how we're going to do that is we need to poke some more, more holes for the um, antennas. And just push that through. When it pops through, I hope I don't gouge my hand. <laughs> it's easier to poke your holes before you paint, just FYI. And it looks like my skewer is getting dull. Okay, push that through. Okay, we got one through. And I'm going to make my caterpillar look, well, no, we'll go ahead and put them head on. So we'll do another one right here. Okay. Let's go ahead and get our antennas out, which was we took a pipe cleaner. And someone tell me how you want. Do we want wiggly antennas? Do we want squiggly, loop-de-loops, or straight? What do we want for our big caterpillar? I'm going to poke this through on the bottom. And we're going to poke it through on this side. Are we doing the caterpillars? Mm-hmm. Yay. Someone tell me how you want me to do it. I'll leave it till someone tells me. Okay. You ready to do yours, Ma Maverick? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then let's do some medium-shaped eyeballs. I just want medium. You just want medium-shaped eyeballs? Yes, it's going to look ugly. He'll look ugly? Mm-hmm. Why? Because. He'll look ugly with big eyeballs, or you just don't like no, the way he looks? No, it's my big eye. It's for mine. Oh, okay. All right, so I'm just scooping a little bit of this glue stick out with the eyeball, and then we're just sticking it on here. Do you have anybody commenting to tell us what shape the uh, antenna's yet? Okay, there's 240 of you watching live. Somebody tell me what shape you want. Okay, do you want your head on the blue end or the red end? The red. 
the red. Okay, so let's poke some eyeballs down here. Since I love red. Since you love red, huh? And off one more thing. And the orange. And orange. Someone tell us. <laughs> Okay, almost done. There we go. Straight. We could leave them straight, huh? Do you want to leave your straight? Okay, Maverick, what color um, mm. antennas do you want? Is it aqua? Um, there's a blue. Do you want blue? Um, yellow. Yellow, okay. Gold. Gold, right. Okay, so we're going to put this in half. And then... We're going to cut that in half. So now we just have two short pieces. And then we're going to go to the back side of our egg carton. And we're going to pop it through those holes. Um, and we're going to cut those pieces off. Okay. There we go. And how do you want yours? Do you want them just long? Mm -hmm. Or do you want them wiggly or squiggly or loop de loo? Or what do you want? Lightning, so yeah, kind of like zigzag. zigzag? Mm -hmm. Okay, zigzag lightning it is. Sometimes it goes, sometimes it goes like, yep. it goes like boom, 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 boom. Yep. Good job. Okay, and then do you, I'm sorry. Did you want big eyeballs or little eyeballs? I don't remember. Uh, medium. Medium shaped eyeballs. Okay, I want them. You don't want them ginormous. Mm -mm. Okay. Here, I'm going to let you put your eyeballs on. Oops. I do. <laughs> yep. Okay, so here we go. We put some glue on the back of the eyeball. And then we're just going to. It gonna... smells like fruit roll ups. It smells like fruit roll ups? Mm hmm. Hmm. Mm. What smells like fruit roll ups, do you My think? Armpit. Your armpit <laughs> smells like fruit roll ups? <laughs> well, those are the best smelling armpits, I think, in the whole house. I don't, why do you think your armpit smells like a fruit roll-up? Mmm, I think that was a honey fruit roll-up. Since you were holding fruit roll-ups? Okay, there you go, guys. Look how cute our caterpillars turned out. Look at my little caterpillar. We'll finish him in just a second. Look at our cute caterpillars. Those will look really cute just sitting in the garden. Wait, uh, sitting around the flowers and the tulips. And then... No, you can leave them in here if you want. And then here's our um, here's our ladybugs. All right. Chimbanga! What do you think we should name them? Should we give them names? I like this movie Chambambajam. Chambambajam? <laughs> no, Chambanja. Chambanja? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then what's this one's this name? Whisper. Whisper? Mm -hmm. So we have Chabam Chabamza. Whisper awesome. and Bugsy. <laughs> Tara says awesome. Thanks, Tara. Tara or Tara. I'm not sure which one it is. This one's Bow Chicka Pow Pow. Is Tara? Mommy. Okay. This one be Bow Chicka Pow Pow. Bow Chicka Pow Pow? Okay, this is Bow Chicka Pow Pow. This are... one's stinky. Stinky. This one's stinky. Why is he stinky? Since he has rolly. Oh, he has rolly. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and end our live video. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And like I said, feel free to uh, like, share, or subscribe so you guys can get notifications when we go live every day or every other day, just depending on how busy we are. And if any of you guys want to join us for our live paint night on Friday night, we're going to be doing a Mommy and Me paint night, and we would love to have you sit with us and paint with us live and be able to ask questions. Name it Coco. All right. We'll name this one Coco. The one with the big eyes. The one, oh, the big one with the big eyes is Coco, you think? Okay, Maverick says this one can be Coco. Okay. The little eyes. The little eyes. Okay. Wait, what was his name before? His name was Bugsy before. No, no, the one with the little eyes. What was I'm sorry, name? I'm a bad grandparent to your bugs. I don't remember which named them all. Oh, yeah, it was Stinky. Stinky. Oh, yeah. I guess we'll call him Stinky. 
He'll be stinky? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining. And take care. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.